Right, I bought a sandblaster. So it's a Sealy one, but it was only 99 quid on eBay. So it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. Um, it's a big 220 litre one. But after, after doing a bit of looking on the internet, there's a few sandblaster mods that you can do. In this one, we're gonna get that going. Get all the mods done, sick. And then I'd like to have one of these aluminium rear uprights, hubs uprights, stripped and cleaned so it's all so it looks brand new ish. I might put some spray some lacquer on it as well. So that'll be good, wouldn't it? I like sandblasting. So there's only a couple of bits that I'm gonna do. Put a new filter on it, because it, it basically hasn't got one. So I ordered one from someone who ordered it from Sealy to post it directly to me. I don't like it when people do things like that. But we've got a nice brand new filter, which will be the reddest thing on there by far. So that needs to go on. And then I need to sort out the extraction. So we've got a Henry kicking around over there. You're supposed to pull it out and then you're supposed to separate any sand that might have got past the filter with one of these. So Hoover, Hoover goes in the top sand goes in the side, separates through there and then falls into like a bucket or something. Oh, I've got bucket bollocks. We'll get there. Let's go over there, have a look at her. Start assessing the situation. The light bulb's still gone, I'm afraid. I don't know how long Shane's gonna come for today, maybe I... Oh, it fixed itself. How oh, weird. Must have been the starter in it or something. Let's go and have a look at the cabinet. Good enough, isn't it? It's a bit faded, but we'll be okay. So what should I do first? Should I look at that filter or should I give it a hoover? Just give it a clean inside and then we'll, we'll put the filter on. It's a good start. It's got a nice little flap in the bottom so you just open it up and it, it all falls out. Slippy. I don't know if that's packaging or where it's supposed to go on it. We'll leave it off for the install. like an episode of Crystal Maze or something. I thought a kind of rock wall was going to open afterwards. Nothing more annoying than a leaky air fitting. Let's fix that. Call to turn. Court turn. Guy probably had that running like that for about 10 years. Different standards people have. I'm just gonna use duct tape. I have, just to prove a point, I did bring the cement, but I've got a feeling I'm gonna change this around a few times, so the best thing to do is to use duct tape, duct tape, tape you wanna call it. Come in. Yeah, we'll do that, it's lying around. Of course we'll do that. There we go, set up, 
set up complete? I think that might be set up complete. The hoover just fits into the end of there. So I think I'll, I'll try the hoover quick, see if that works, and then put some media in it. Of course, this, this is going all right. The reason it looks awful is because it costs 10 pounds. Certainly does suck. The media, I'm gonna keep underneath it in some buckets, but I need to get them from Tesco's or something. I've got two types. I've got aluminium oxide, I think, for like iron and steel and stuff and rusty bits. And then I've got glass beads, like silica glass beads or something, which is for aluminium. So the idea is you can be blasting aluminium and then all you do is you dump it all out the bottom into a bucket, you pick up the other bucket of the other media and chuck it on top. Three hours later, you're blasting the next material. So they turned up like this. It does look like something that wash up on a beach in Cornwall or Devon or something. I don't know. If it is, I'll be able to finish this car a lot quicker. What do you reckon that is? What do we reckon is going to weigh more? Aluminium oxide or glass beads? Because that one's bigger. I don't know, I just thought glass beads would weigh more. Should we open it up so if there's any clues? Ugh. Okay, so that's two unmarked bags. Guess I'm opening them. That's the glass. Oh yeah, that's all brown and stuff, so that's the aluminium oxide. Okay, so I've got to load the glass in. It's quite expensive, I don't, I don't want to drop this on the floor or anything. Should we give it a go then? Can't be bothered to move the camera to say this to you, so let's just do it from here. This is when it becomes apparent you've got a car problem, when you buy one of these to blast a load of aluminium parts and then you realise that you haven't actually got any to blast. I'll carry on looking. Okay, so this is off the power steering pump and that's cleaned up as much as you would normally with just some brake cleaner and things like that. I'll just tape these end bits up to protect them and then we'll give it a blast. Just kind of done that, see if it helps um, the machine surfaces to stay as is. If not, I'll use duct tape afterwards. Good. I'm happy with that. There was there, there's one mod that I didn't do because I thought ah it's probably bollocks, um, but it isn't. It's it's a thing. Pickup pipe isn't very good, and everyone was saying that you get surging with it, and you do. You can feel lumps of glass coming up through the gun. So that's something that I want to do next. I'll I'm gonna go home now, but I'll come back come back in this one, and we'll fix the surge issue with that so it stops lumping, and then we'll do the uprights at the back, which will be pretty good. I think Shane's about to turn up and shout at me for nicking his light then. There you go, look at that. Still shiny as well. All right, modification number two time, I think. So there's a pickup tube in here, and there's two tubes that go down, and one of them's to put air back down under the beads, and the other one's to pick it up. But the air one just gets blocked, and it kind of goes round in glugs. So there was someone, someone American who I found who has got like a modification for it where essentially you close the end of the siphon one so the one air comes back down and then you drill a hole through all of them except the end bit so it can, air effectively can get in before the beads can get in and it's just a vacuum effect that picks it up. It's exciting isn't it? I like things like this. So now I need to get that tube out. So, what do I do? I've got an instruction manual here. It's all in American though, so it's quite hard to understand. Yeah, here we go. So the pickup tube, I cut an inch shorter. Right, we found it. So I need to cut an inch off that, apparently. And then we have to put a drill through it. Five sixteenths. What's that in real money? An eight mil drill we need to put through it. Where do we put it through it? Another inch. So we're about there. 
And then there's another one further up. Measure an inch above the top of the short tube. Okay. And that's one eighth, three mil. Okay, we can do this. We have the technology. We've got to clean this, but we'll do it quietly. Well that came out all right, didn't it? It takes it takes a long time in there and the glass bead is not abrasive at all. So it, it it's left it shiny, which is nice, but it does take a long time to clean it. Um this this is the before one by the way. Then this is after. So I'll get doing the other one, but yeah, here you go. Take a look at that. Looks alright. I I ordered some a something something fifty from OP. So I'm, I'm going to do all the alloy bits in that and then hopefully it'll protect it without having to lacquer it. You just spray it on and then you're good for a couple of years. I'm happy. There's all sorts of other bits that I'll do in there. All the front hub, anything alloy basically. And I'm going to do the back of the diff case. I might even do the diff housing, seal it all up and, and spray it with the other media. So it should be a kind of quickish way of, of getting a really good finish on everything. It's nice having bare alloy stuff, isn't it? it just Not as in lots of alloy stuff, as in like clean alloy stuff. It just looks really good. What's up next? I don't even know what's up next. I really do need to get some stuff for powder coaters. I'm going to do the I'm going to do the brake pedal box that I need to make pretty much from scratch in one of the next ones. So it might be that. If not, it'll be me pratting about with suspension arms or something. Yep, yeah, we'll find out when we see you there.